Hi, praise God. I'm just about to start my um, forgive outline. I'm doing it in the car so that I, I'm not distracted at home and also so I can just focus and not worry about forgetting. So my name is Lindsay Mitchell. I'm part of Ahmed, Brother Ahmed's uh, class and I, I hope this is permissible to be doing it in the car. Um, so the forgive outline, F, F-O-R-G-I-V-E. F is for friendship. Get to know them. Um, empathize with them. Uh, discern, relate, and meet a need. T is transition. This is what the Lord has done in my life, and He can do the same in your life. O is for offer. Offer of love. God's offer of love to us. L-O-V-E. Lasting fulfillment. God wants to give you lasting fulfillment, not as the world gives, but in his, his own heavenly way of fulfillment. And in John 10, 10, it says that, um, it says that the evil one came to kill, steal, and destroy, but I came that you might have ever, that you might have life and life more abundantly or life to the full. Offer is, uh, sorry, O is for overwhelming acceptance. In Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are thirsty, uh, all you who are weary and heavily laden, and I will give you rest. V is for value. Deuteronomy 7, verse 6 says that God, the Lord God, has called you to be his chosen people his his holy nation a chosen generation a special treasure and he calls you uh, above every other people on the earth he is for everlasting life and forgiveness of sins 1 John 2 verse 12 and 24 it is for his name's sake that we have the forgiveness of sins and he promises us the promise of everlasting life or eternal life our sin separates us from God and leads us to hell without forgiveness of sins we will never have peace and we will be separated from God eternally the reality is, R is for reality. The reality is, is that everyone has sinned, S-I-N. Oh, dear. And sin, S is for shame. Um, shame, Romans 3.23 and 6.21. It says that, Romans 3.23 says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And 621 says that what is the fruit of the things that you have done of which you are now ashamed? The fruit is death. I is for internal anger. We all have this internal anger that we carry around. N is for negativity. Job 10 verse 1, he says, I loathe my own life. I pour out my full complaint before the Lord and speak of the bitterness of my soul. And, the re and we all, our sin has separated us all from God. And we are, we um, sin, shame, and this leads to hell, hell. This leads to eternal separation from God. And unless we are reconciled to him and forgiven our sins, we will never find peace with God. God offers us love. O is for offer. Sorry, F-O-R-G. G is God's offer of love. L-O-V-E. Lasting fulfillment. Oh, no, I've already done that. Offer. No, God's love oh my gosh uh, f-o-r-g god cares for us 
God loves, understands, and cares for us. C-A-R-E-S. He is concerned for us. And in... Uh, where is it? Where is it? In... Oh. In second... First Peter 5 verse 7. It says... Cast all your anxieties upon me, for I care for you. A is for affirm. 2 Corinthians 1, 25, 21 says that he affirms us in Christ Jesus. R is for relate. He relates with us. Hebrews 4.15 says, For we do not have a high priest who is unsympathetic, but one who was tempted in every way and yet was without sin. He is for enriches us. He enriches us. Um, one, 1 Corinthians 1 verse 5 says that he enriches us in all utterance and in all knowledge. S is for saves. He saves us and that is Ephesians 2 verse 8 and it says for it is not by it says for it is by grace through faith we are saved and that not the works that is not of the works of men that anyone should boast now God took great initiative to save us by sending his son to die on the cross and Emmanuel is God with us and he died on the cross in order to give us um, improvement of life and um, a new life and forgiveness of sins and Romans 3 26 and 27 says that God set forth as a propitiation by the blood through faith in order to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance he overlooked the sins of the past so that in the present time he might demonstrate his righteousness and become the just and the justifier for those who have faith in Jesus. saves. Um, now the vehicle to which we receive this is, oh and sorry, I want to go back to initiative. Jesus died on the cross so that he would exchange our shame, pain, and sin for his healing, mercy, and forgiveness. And the transition is, is that the vehicle by which we receive this is through believing and receiving what God did when he sent Jesus to die on the cross for us. And the vehicle is this, faith, faith, Confession and following. Faith is Romans 3.25. And it says that, um, therefore we conclude that it is not by following, uh, that it is by grace through faith we are saved and not following the deeds of the law. And Romans 10 verse 10 says that it is by, it is out of the heart that we believe unto righteousness and out of the mouth that we confess unto salvation. So that's confessing. And Mark 8 34 is to follow. And that is that Jesus after calling all the people over to him and his disciples, said to them, if any 
of you should desire to follow me, you must deny yourself, pick up your cross, and sorry, if any of you should desire to follow, to desire to come after me, you must deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow me. Would you like to receive what Jesus has done on the cross for you, this free offer of life, this new life? I would like to invite you to encounter the Lord, which is the final letter on the E, on the forgive outline. Encounter. I would like to pray with you for you to receive um, this free gift of salvation. I would like to invite you to church and or a Bible study and or uh, a baptism class. And then I also want to let you know of the importance of being discipled and telling others about this gift of life. Okay, so that is my forgive outline. I hope that's acceptable and permissible that I did it in the car. I think I got all of them. I'm also going to send um, links to the Facebook um, lives that um, were recorded when I when I evangelized with my Tuesday group in Mississauga um, because I've done that a couple times and it's on Facebook. So I'm going to send those as well. And um, that's it. Thank you so much, Brother Ahmed. Uh, God bless and take care.